All right, guys, time for another installment of what's he doing today in the shop or garage. So, lower radiator hose on Foxy. Why is that? Well, <laughs> because it's a Fox body, that's why. Guys, I know Fox bodies are hot. Yep, she's a looker. Everybody wants a piece of that nostalgia, right? Everybody wants a Fox body because they're so cool and everything, right? Well, the problem with the Fox body is that every single time you walk past it, it's like having a teenage daughter. It's like, I need money. I need money. It's every single time I walk past this, I find something else that is going to require me to bust out another $500 or $50 or 20 bucks. Uh, who knows what it's going to be? It's always a bit of a mystery. And so if you find yourself a Fox body that you just can't live without because you had one when you were a kid or, you know, your buddy had one or whatever, and that nostalgia thing is really pulling at your heartstrings, just know that if you find yourself a really clean original survivor, you're going to be into that thing for, well, let's just go through it real quickly. You see that? Yeah, you'll, re you'll be replacing that at some time if you decide to get yourself a fox body is it made out of rubber like hoses or belts budget that in does it squirt fuel into places yeah figure you're gonna at least have to get those cleaned if not replace them mass airflow meter at least give it a decent cleaning but don't screw it up because then you can break the mass air meter and you'll have to buy a new mass air meter chances are the air conditioner and or heater core has got some type of a leak in it Make sure that you budget for that too. If there's a seal or a gasket of some kind, either rear main, front timing cover, and or china wall that ever used or had any RTV on it. Yeah, chances are you're gonna have to redo that, but be careful and make sure that just chances are somebody had been there before you that they didn't over torque the fasteners and then you snap that thing off in the block or the intake manifold. Yeah, ask me how I know about that. But yeah, budget for that too. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw that in the mix as well. Okay, guys, all joking aside, I need to get back to this thing and burp that cooling system and take her for a test drive. If you love Fox Bodies, you know why you're buying it. It's going to be a labor of love. You know that you're going to be getting basically nickel and dimed to death. But the fun thing about it is that nothing is really super expensive for those cars. They are a blast to drive. You get the thing set up right and they can just be so much fun to get out and just kick it in. So is it worth the kind of money that they're asking for these days for these things? Man, I don't know. You be the judge of that. But if you've got one, just remember that whatever money you bought it for, figure half again as far as what you're going to be spending on it just to... Uh, replace the problems and the sins of the people that have come before you because you know how fox bodies are kind of easy to work on and they're kind of cheap to put parts on well that means that chances are if you found one and it's not a true stock survivor somebody else has been in there and usually if it's a fox body it was their first time about 20 years ago working on a car so just know that coming into it as well too i'm gonna get back to work y'all have a great one adios